Hi Chris here and I'm back with the Cube I Work 8 Ultimate. And now something is different here, maybe you've noticed, probably not, is this right here, a little logo there to switch over to Android. So this model now comes with dual boot. And what I've done is I have flashed this myself. This originally had just Windows 10 in it. I don't know if you've seen my previous videos on this particular model. I only had Windows 10, but now you can uh, run Android 5.1 alongside Windows 10. Now the flashing process isn't really that complicated but there's a few steps you need to follow. Just step by step go through it. There is a link in the description of this video if you want to convert your existing Windows 10 only model then go and check that out. But I just wanted to quickly show you Windows and now I'm going to boot over and show you Android because I've already focused on the Windows 10 part of this tablet before. So in this video I just want to focus now on Android, what's Android like, run through some benchmarks and very quickly show you some gaming. So you just have to OK a few little pop-ups there and then it will now restart and switch over into Android. Alright, so Android has just powered up here now. It took approximately 50 seconds to almost a minute to do that, so a little bit slow there. But I'll quickly show you the ROM. And it's quite good actually, the ROM. Now the screen, the DPI is set perfectly to the screen, so it doesn't look blurry unlike when we had the Chewy VI 10. They didn't have a very good DPI selected. I think they selected something like, uh, I can't remember, 380 I think it was. And it didn't look very sharp and all blurry, but this actually looks really good and it's a very stock Android kind of experience here. Which is good, they haven't used any bloaty browsers. Now there were three applications that were in Chinese, but I could remove them. So virtually bloat free the ROM and it performs really well, it's quite quick. And overall looks good, like the ROM. Now to switch back over to Windows, you simply just power down the power button. Just hold it down for a bit there and it'll pop up the menu there. So you can boot to Windows and it will do that quite quickly. Now one thing I don't like is the menu setup they've done here. I would have rather just had the back home and recent apps menu I thought would have been better without the volumes because they're kind of they're off center. I don't particularly like that and having a dedicated screenshot button. Okay it's handy for someone like me maybe that's reviewing it but otherwise I don't think people take enough screenshots to actually need that button there. You can also hold uh, the power on button and volume down to take a screenshot so it's not really needed. But uh, it is running Android 5.1 which is good to see. I don't know whether there will be an Android 6 update coming for this. I imagine later on, probably in the year, there will be because uh, there's a lot of developers that are still working on their own Android 6 ROMs so that's gonna hopefully come one day soon but I wouldn't hold my breath for it. And there was a wireless update that I did update to the latest ROM I'll just quickly show you the amount of free space you have I to take a screenshot of it and a couple of benchmarks also that I ran. Uh, where are we? Okay, so the initial first launch, uh, when I first turned it on, sorry, there was 7.34 gigabytes free, which isn't too bad. Now, I forgot to mention, Windows only had 5.8 gigabytes free, which isn't enough, which is why I kind of, I hate seeing 32 gigabyte eMMC dual boot tablets. I think minimum, minimum, we need 64 gigabytes because it's just not enough free space. At least here in Android, they've given us more. I mean, 7, still not ideal, but we can install and insert a micro SD card because there is a micro SD card slot if you see my other videos when this was just a Windows 10 version then you can expand the storage but some of these games that you do play on Android they're very large in size they can be over one gigabyte and when it comes to storage really you want to have a lot more free than what's there so some of the other that's the first launch what was installed so we got one two three applications that can be uninstalled. Here's our Geekbench 3 score. It's actually lower than what I got on Windows 10. I'm not really too sure why. Probably down to maybe ROM optimization. Uh, and you can see it. That is our and 226 score. So 56,000. 
is what the Atom X5Z8300 gets. It's a breakdown there, some of those scores. If you want to look at that and compare that to your existing mobile phone tablet, and you can see that it's just, well, I wouldn't say just, it's 10,000 points below the LG G4. And that's all I ran on the benchmark side of things. Now I'll just run a few games, test them out and see how those perform. Now the screen brightness is currently set down to, I think I have it at, get that screen to rotate, oh, about 50%, it's at about 60% at the moment, so it can go a lot brighter. But I've just set it down for the purposes of this video, so it tends to cause a little bit of trouble with the camera so I just turn that down again but it's quite bright the speakers also quite loud as you'll hear shortly with some of the games I test out just try Clash of Clans first I haven't got a very large village set up here but this game although it doesn't really look like it would be a super demanding game once you've got a lot on the screen, it actually can be quite laggy, but the performance of this is just fine, and it actually looks really nice and sharp on the screen because, again, they got that DPI setting spot on for this screen resolution, which is 1280 by 800, and it looks just fine. I'll just quickly attack some goblins. To get an idea, of, but it's yeah, it just runs perfect. I don't think you're going to have any problems, even if you've got a huge like level 10 or 11 base, it should run just fine. This game, You can see the speaker is very loud. That's a hundred percent volume. So exit out of that one and uh, test out another game. Real Racing 3. Oh, some bad driving by <laughs> my part there. But at this resolution, the Atom X5 doesn't have any problems running this one. Okay, move on now and test out another game. This title here is Mortal Kombat X. It's running the Unreal Engine and one of the most demanding titles probably that you can find on Android. Mortal Kombat X runs actually fine despite surprising to see because other tablets that have high resolutions, for example like the Mi Pad 2 with that retina display, really struggled with this game. But because this is only running 1200 times 800 resolution, it's made this game completely playable. This title here is Implosion.
major threat. The virus will reanimate and amplify them. Understood, Commander. It's coming online. Avalon, try the impulse move for me. Alright, so I think you can see clearly that it's playing this game just fine too. So overall I'm liking this tablet more actually, the iWork 8 Ultimate, as a dual boot. I think Android on this really suits it well. The gaming performance is definitely a lot better than the likes of the Retina tablets because it doesn't have that high resolution to deal with. The ROM's really good, it's basically bloat free. The only downside to it really is battery life. If you're going to be gaming uh, with the screen brightness that I currently have, you're only going to have about two hours, two and a half hours of gaming. If you're not gaming and you're using the internet browser, which by the way works just fine, uh, that isn't going to give you that much battery life more really but about three and a half hours maybe an hour more but battery life isn't that good and windows you get about four hours so slightly less i think in android but overall not too bad thanks for watching this video it's just a quick peek there and if you want some help with the dual boot conversion if you're going to flash yours then do check out the link in the description run through those steps and if you still have problems ask me for help there just leave a comment and I'll try and help you out the best I can. Thanks for watching, I hope you see you in the channel soon, I have some new tablets uh, coming up. The Voyo VBook version 3, it's going to be in a 13.3 inch Yoga 2 style laptop that I'll be reviewing soon. I hope to have that within a week or so, so do check that out if interested. Bye for now.